that you can never it's not God doing it just because it's because of your faith it's because of your willingness to trust God and and uh, and, and and we must believe on him amen wake up get up and move in your purpose yes this is that time we come together uh bi-weekly uh, no weekly wednesdays and, and fridays for uh wake up in your mind john 15 we're gonna talk about this 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 program we're gonna talk about this this vision that god has given us today uh we've getting a lot of questions from people saying you know you never uh, we re you, we always hear you say what the principles are wake up in your mind john 15 Get up, in, you know, get up in your thinking is uh, Philippians chapter two and then moving your purpose. Matthew 28. Now, I may have not shared that every broadcast, but Matthew 28 is moving in your purpose. But this week we're going to talk about in detail, John 15, uh, 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 allowing ourselves to wake up, wake up in his presence, wake up in with the mindset of worship, wake, wake up in your mind means is that you automatically are looking to dwell in God. You're not looking for a visitation. You're not looking for a, a, or any kind of movement other than your faith moving you. Good morning, women of God, family of God. Good morning to everybody. But it's now you making a conscious decision to abide in God. You're not waiting on him to call you. You're not waiting on somebody to remind you. You're not waiting on anything to happen other than the simple fact that you are going to move when now in action. And now reach out to abide in God. Oh, it's a, it's a miraculous uh, 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 a miraculous principle when you now walk by faith and not by sight. See, abiding in God, you're like, where is he? How can I abide in something I can't see? How can I, how can I keep on talking about things that I can't prove? Well, you can't prove it by your actions. See, you are the living proof of God's word. <laughs> you, just you, I'm talking just to you today. Just like I'm, like I point one finger, look how many he's pointing back at me for but just like I'm talking to you, you are God's living testimony. You are the miracle walking. You are the one that can prove to this world that Christ lives in you and now no longer you live. But by him living in you, you now can tell the testimony that God is real. You can now be the, 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 the preacher, the minister that, that goes out and shows, no, no, I'm, I'm proof that God is real. We are the message, my God, yes, we are. We are the testimony. We are the sermon. We are the life that God is real. No, we don't have to wait around for him to show up. Let's show now by our faith, walking in faith and not by sight. Let's show by our actions that God is real. I can prove it to you. You know me how I used to be. <laughs> You've heard some stories and some testimonies. I am a living testimony that God is real. That he truly can abide in me. Oh, what you see is nothing. If I if I had any hand in anything, it would begin to crumble. But as long as I dedicate this life, not just the ministry, not just the marriage, not just the relationships, not just the jobs, not just the, but when I dedicate everything to God, then I know it's not my will being done anymore, but I have released my power. Oh, somebody need to release your power today. You still been holding on to that little bit of, 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 of decision making. You've been you're still holding on to that little bit of, of being able to choose and, and do as you like to. You still are holding on to something that you've already failed in. Oh, yeah, we always want to go back. <laughs> we, we always want to return and try to read. No, no, you better leave the dead, stay dead. And you better walk in life today by abiding in God. Oh, yes, John 15. Look at this morning. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the revelation, Lord. We ask that you open up our, 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 our minds and, 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 our, and our spiritual eyes that we can see your word in a different view. That no longer the mysterious, but the miraculous words come right now in the mighty name of God of Jesus. We thank you. We praise you that we are going to receive and we're going to walk in your word today like never ever before. Oh, something new in your son Jesus name we pray. Amen. John 15. First of all, let's just 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 pay attention to some of the key principles in this book. The book of John. But in this chapter, watch, it starts off. It says, "I am." Now, 
we already know there's there's a, a, a an announcement being made that first of all get out of my way this is what god is telling me maybe he's not telling you that when i hear when i see that that i am I don't care if it's the what, what we're going to read about today. I don't care if it's the truth, the light, the beginning, the end. When I am facing that challenge, then I know I must become nothing. I can't even let my own understanding get in the way. I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Now, you already know who this is Jesus communicating and he's now exploring that his father is the vine dresser. First of all, stop trying to be the vine. We think that we're the vine that connects all these things. And no, no, no. We, I am not the univer universal principle and neither are you. God is. And as long as we keep him in the right position, we can really start to see some of the things that we are pressing and praying and believing on come to fruition because we are the testimony and we are going to be the ones to do the work. Oh, it's time to get right and do the work. I am the vine dresser and my father is the vine. I mean, I am the vine and my father is the vine dresser. Now, look at this. If you want to be connected to the dresser, you must be connected to the vine because there is no other way to the father except through the son. Come on, say it to yourself. Get out the way. I like that uh, 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 Minister Terry. He has all of, I, am, I release all of me right now. Watch this. Every branch in me, now we've been talking about that. We are not just trying to get him in us. It should be your whole goal is to get in him. <laughs> Show yourself worthy. Show yourself a true testimony. Show yourself a person of your word. Now you're starting to be just like him. You saying what you said, you did what you did, and you follow through what you knew you should have followed through. And watch this. You finished harder than you started. Because you know, I am just connected to the vine so I can now grow and help others to grow. Watch this. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he proves it that it may bear much fruit. Now, I don't know if you paid attention to this or not, but do you understand this announcement of who's in charge? And here's the second announcement. Before I go any further, I'm going to cut off all them that are not producing fruit. I want to spin on that one. I might knock the cross over. You see how it just starts off really, really blunt. And I tell you, it, 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 it is amazing that the word of God is so straightforward. It does not cut corners. It does not bend around the bush. It gets straight to the point. But we take it so lightly that we act like it was, oh, I didn't get that. Oh, where did that come from? If you pay attention and ask God to reveal this word to you because you're the testimony, because you're the, the proof. Oh, come on, say it. I say, I'm the proof. We're going to make that shirt. Hashtag, I am the proof. Can you put that up there for me, Minister Terry? Hashtag, I am the proof. That's what all and each and every one of us should be. But understand, if you are not proving, he'll cut you off. He will cut you off. He said it right there. He says, every branch in me, that's every branch. He is not excluding the bad, the good, the ugly, or anything. He is saying, every branch in me, because he created all things. The Bible says in John, uh, uh, first John, it, I mean, John chapter one, it says, God, all things were created by God. Nothing that was made was made without him. You better get, don't get it twisted. The devil's not created nothing. He has just took a dominion over things that will not become the proof. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You better get your mark on you today. I am the proof. Watch this. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away point blank. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it. Oh, oh yeah, he can help take takes off those 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 little bitty leaves that that are that are just sucking up the, the nutrient. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. He's taking away those things that, that are that are sucking out of you the power that you need to be the proof. Oh, come on, say it with me this morning. I am the proof that it may bear more fruit. Don't you know? Whatever it is God is blessing in you. Oh, I'm talking about the fruit. I'm talking about them. Come on. Them, I'm talking about them, them, them. Every, what he says, every branch. I'm talking to all of us branches of proof. All of us branches of proof. He wants you to bear more fruit. He don't want you to stay dormant. 
He just don't want you to stay with a this, this, this. He wants you to bear more fruit so you can fruit somebody else. Oh my God, watch this. You are already clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. See, I cleansed you up. He let you know whether you're bearing fruit or you're not. He says it's time for you to get over on the proving side instead of the denying side. It's time for you to cross on over. Oh, yeah, we, that's all we're going to preach is about crossing over from the other side. You can do it today. No matter whatever it is that's holding and, 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 and binding you down, cross over to the other side of the proof. My God. See, we want, we want to just see him come out of the sky, and he will. We want to see him come take dominion, and he will. But guess what? I can be the proof today. I don't have to wait. I can be the proof today that he lives. And if he doesn't live over there, he lives right here because I'm the proof. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're supposed to tell somebody, tell everybody, tell anybody that you can that if, they, if you're the proof, so can they be the proof too. But first of all, you got to make sure that you are a branch that is in him. And you better make sure that you are producing fruit. See, this is what this wake up in your mind thing is. You know that if you abide in him, we're going to get there. You are producing much fruit. Watch this. You are already clean. Come on, say I'm clean. I'm clean proof. This is going to help somebody today because you're still burdened with some stuff from back in your past. You are still burdened with some stuff that keep coming up every morning. Yo, I, look, I'm no different than you. We are all still burdened with stuff in our minds that try to take us away from being the proof. You ain't good enough. They'll never believe God is clean through you. No, no. I am clean proof. Thank you, Minister uh, Monique. I am clean proof. And I know I'm clean proof because of the word that's been spoken to me. For God so loved the world that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. See, I'm proof now. And I'm living proof. That now I don't have to wait. I'm already prepared, John 14. I'm prepared for the place that's been prepared for me. Because I'm the proof. If you want to know Jesus is real, come on over here. I'm going to shout it as loud as I can. I'm going to speak it as many times as I'm given an opportunity. And I'm going to let you know that you're just like me. You're the proof too. Watch this. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Get out of the group scene right now and understand he's talking just to you. Oh yeah, he loves us all. And that's what I really thought he was leading me to about the, 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 the power of one. But this morning, I just got, kept getting questions and answers about, man, but you always, can you expound on this, on this, on this, uh, uh, wake up in your mind? Forget getting, getting up in, in your thinking. Tell me what you, you're talking about this abide thing, because, because I, it's not working. <laughs> and I see you and I see people around you that, well, guess what? Each and every one of us must first of all understand you're the branch. You're the branch of proof that God is real. And then you have to know that you are producing fruit. you got to become a producer. If you are sitting dormant in the same spot, it's not because God is not trying to bless you. It's because you haven't got up yet. You're still over here on the woulda, coulda, shoulda side instead of crossing over here to the proof side that everything I do, you see it because God works in me. And I have been clean. Oh yeah, the word has cleansed me. Every time I digest this word, it cleanses me. Every time you digest this word, it cleanses you. Oh, well, I don't go to the big church. I, it does not matter. Your relationship with God is right here in this word. Then you fellowship with other like-minded believers and you know that we are all the proof. The proof that he lives today. The proof that he won't, he won't never leave or, or forsake me. You're the proof today that I'm healed. You're the proof today that I'm saved. You are the proof today. Oh, I'm preaching this this week. Oh, my God. I am the proof, and I want you to know you are the proof too. Watch this. You are, and I can't get out this verse because you got to know this. You are already clean because of the word that he has spoken to you. Oh, yes, and he pruned you first. He got all that nasty stuff off when you said, here I am. Take me, Lord. When you said, here I am, I'm the proof. He took all that negativity, all that backbiting, all that stuff moved off of you because he pruned you. Don't wait for me to prune you. Know that God pruned you because you are the proof that he lives. You are the proof that he died. You are the proof that he got up, and you are the proof that he lives today. Oh, yeah, come on, say it. I am the proof. And yes, when you become the proof, you now have been cleansed. 
by the word that has been spoken unto you, not by man, but from God. And you better know that what God has said to you is for you to become the proof. Oh, we're going to have this shirt all over the place. I'm going to preach it Sunday. Oh, yeah, come on out. If you're in the Los Angeles area, we, we are, uh, uh, we, we're we preaching at Greater Progressive at 3 o'clock. Uh, Minister Terry, I need you and sis out there. I do. I need, I'm need. i going to call you today on that. But watch this. I must preach the word of God because I'm the proof that it works. And then you have to know you're clean. Say I'm clean. I'm clean because of the word, not because of my clothes or my shower or my hairdo. I am clean because of the word that has been spoken unto me. He says then, watch. Oh, my God. Verse four, he says, abide in me. He didn't say the group, the church, the building. He says, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. If you're wondering why your fruit cup is empty, because you've been trying to do it on your own. Oh, uh -uh, no, 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 don't beat yourself up. I don't want nobody to beat yourself up today. Because what, what, what we do, it, it just takes a little bit of tweaking. My God, it takes just a little bit of tweaking to get it right. And when you become clean, mm, now you know you're not working on your own. You are working under the eulogy of the Holy Spirit. I just tell y'all something yesterday. We got the beach and we're sitting on the grass and here come the birds. And I was reading and me and my grandchildren are reading the, the, the child version of the Bible. Some of y'all need to do that, too. Because it's so simplistic. Oh, my God. But but he said, God says, command the birds and the animals of this earth. I thought of that yesterday. And I said, by the Holy Spirit, birds move. I am not playing. Every bird that was in a six, a, a six feet, ten feet uh, 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 diameter, wished off in the wind by the Holy Spirit. You better know the word that has been spoken to you. You can also speak the same word and don't speak it on my behalf. I said, get out of here. Birds start throwing stuff. They're going to come back at you. But by the name of the Holy Spirit, I just said, oh, just move. And without no anger. And they just all right. Immediately just said, Phew. I started crying. I said, thank you, Jesus, because I can speak your word and your word will not return void. Watch this. Abide in me and I in you as the as and I in you. As the branch, say I'm the branch. I'm the branch of proof. But don't you know it? You can't do it on your own. You need him. Because watch this. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. Oh, you will just make another statement. See, this is statement number two. He says, I am the vine. You're the proof. Watch this. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. My God. How many things that we've been trying to do on our own? Dude, I'm going to prove God. I'm going to show God I can do it. No. God is not looking you to branch off and, 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 and think you can elevate. That's what happened to Satan. God is saying to you, no, no, no. I can do it, but only with you. And I know this word is true because you said you cleansed me by your word. You brought me by your word. So if I believe in your word, then I can do your word. Because with you, I can do everything. But without you... Nothing. Come on, somebody say, I can't do it. No, 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 uh -uh, no, 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 no. I can't make that decision. I can't give you that answer right now. I can't commit to that right now because without God, I can't do nothing. And I didn't hear you come in here one time saying, well, let's bring God into the situation and see if that's really. I've been praying. You've been praying. Hopefully we've been getting that that, that Elizabeth uh, uh, Mary leaping in our in our spirit. That's saying something is going on that we need to connect right now that we can really see how we can do the will of God. But we come in there with our ideas and want to take over your ideas and try to take your dream and make you do my dream. And before you know, we got nothing but broken dreams because we tried to do it on our own. Stop today, no matter what it is you're doing in your life. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bless somebody today. No matter what it is you're doing in your life, start doing it with God and watch it change immediately. You don't need a new job. You need God. You don't need a new dream. You need God. You don't need a new nothing. A new husband, new child, new nothing. You need God to get involved in it and watch it change now. Speak a word of life. I, I see Minister Monique this morning speaking life in the people. By the word of God, I guarantee you, by the word that has made you whole, you can be free today by the word of God. 
I'm telling you, that's just how fast and how straightforward God is. If you change the way you think, you'll start changing the way you do things. Even the way you talk, even the way you look, even the way you respond will be a whole different uh, uh, act. It won't even be you in control because you have released you and says, I am a branch of proof. Everything I do must prove God is alive. At work, at home, at play, everything I do must prove that God is alive. That God didn't take a day off. That God didn't give up on me. That God didn't curse me. Every day of my life, I must be living proof, the branch of proof to show God is alive. Are you willing to go there with me today? Can I get some other branches? Come on in the house and let's say we ain't building a tree. We just want to be part of the vine. See, that's, in, that's, in, that's in, that, that entanglement. Have you ever seen a vine when it grows, when the branches come off? They don't branch out. They branch in and around. They entangle around the vine. Entangle. Just think about twisting every, every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every just constantly entangling with God that becomes a strong. The stronger that, that twist and then, and then and watch this, and then branches come together, my God, the stronger you'll be. You can't be defeated because you are connected to the vine. And if you're connected to the vine, who are you connected to? The vine dresser. God, yes. The provider of all things. Well, you don't need to lack. Come on over to the other side of everything. Stop, stop. You don't have to worry. Come on over to the other side of joy. You don't have to be sick. Come on over to the other side of well. There is always an, a, an alternative to everything you're going through in your life. But it starts up here. Oh, my belly ache. It started up here. I don't want to get up this morning. It started up here. But when you learn that I must be intentional about how I am going to be the proof of God, I got to be I got to be on point. I have to be willing to give God my all. Surrender I surrender all. I surrender all. All to Jesus. Ooh, I give it up. I surrender all to him because he deserves it. He deserves my best, just like he's given me his best. He has, look, oh my God, he deserves it. Yes, he does. You don't deserve nothing. I don't deserve nothing, but he deserves everything that we can give him. Watch this. I am the vine, verse five. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered and they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. If, now don't you see that word if? It's always going to be a question mark that you're going to have to keep asking yourself, have, have I slipped? Wait a minute, no, no, no more ifs. That was a breakthrough for me. The no more if factor. When it was no more questions, when it was no more options, no options. Y'all remember that probably about five years ago. I was preaching that like crazy. No options. Swish. Remember the swish, y'all? No options. No, 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 no options. No, just Jesus. Just Jesus. Just Jesus. Just Jesus. I'm still a no option guy. Because without him, I can do nothing. But with him, I can do all things. Watch this. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done. For you, we're gonna stop right there. We're gonna break pick this up on Friday. But don't you know that when you abide in him and his words abide in you, anything you ask, he says it right there. This is the word of God, true word. But it took a lot of work to get there. It, it, it took a lot of work to get to verse seven. A lot of work, and it's gonna be a lot of more work to stay in verse seven because you got to go to the next level. And know that God is not dormant. God is growing. God is God is is is, is bursting in you. Well, I know He's bursting in me because I'm the proof. Oh yes, Jesus, Hallelujah! I am the proof. Watch this. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Now I know some people say, "Well, Pastor, that sounds kind of selfish." Well, no, 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 no. He says, "When you abide in Him and His words abide in you." Anything you ask, it shall be done for you. Well, guess what? All you're doing is petitioning the word of God back to yourself. Yes, I am the proof. Yes, I am the testimony. Yes, I am the healed. Yes, I am the saved. Yes, I am the delivered. Yes, I am. Because if anybody needs to know who God is, you're the one that can tell him about him. 
Come go to church with me, man. You got to come. No, 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 no. Before you can get, get them to church, you ought to be the testimony. They already see the church in you. They going to follow you because you come back so excited and so full of energy. When you come back, they going to want to go with you. But if you want to show that you are the proof, do it right now. To that lady sitting across the cubicle for you at work. It's, it's one person on here that's at work sneaking, watching this. That one person that you've been avoiding at your job for 10 years. I want you to let them know that you're the proof today. And I guarantee you, you're going to find out something that you're like, wow. If I just would have asked a question. A lot of times we don't get because we don't ask. Ask not, receive not. But if you ask the question... You can only get one result, an answer. Oh, I know some people, that's why we don't ask questions, because we don't want to, we don't want to hear the answer. Oh yeah, the truth hurts, but the hurts, the, the, but the truth will set you free. But if you ask the question, you will get an answer that now you can make a conscious choice to be the proof. And you can do it right now in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this, this broadcast. We thank you for our covenant family partner that come together and join in this word together, Lord. We, I thank you today, Lord, for, for using me as a, as a vessel and an instrument to share your word on where you would have us to stand. And where you would have us to, 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 to press. And what you would have us to, to excel in, Heavenly Father God, being your child and being the proof. So we thank you, we worship you, and we praise you, Lord, that we'll never be the same. Our lives have been changed, rearranged, and transformed by the living proof of your word and your son, Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. Family, we open up the portion room right now. If you have a free will offering, not financial. I know every time you hear offering, you think it's about money. No, I'm talking about something that you right now, you say, you know what? I'm in a good position. Man, I feel full. Every, I give freely into the portion room for somebody else that's not. I give freely in the portion room for someone who's who's not doing as good as I am, and and and, um, and that tomorrow could be just where I am. The living proof that God is a, is alive, and 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 He can do it. So we thank you today, Lord. I give freely into the portion room. I give freely for the oh, thank you, Lord, that those hundred thousand minds are still pulling themselves out. Oh no, it's not one group; it's a bunch of groups all across our country. That minds are getting. To every time we pray together in belief and faith, the minds are going to another level of consciousness. So we thank you, Lord, for the consciousness that's being spread like a wildfire across this nation and across this world. We thank you. We praise you. We magnify it in Jesus' name. Family, wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose.